So if we go to the code, um, so we're going to tell both the copyright and the valid date to use the same colour. And then in here, we're going to override certain uh, words with a different colour. So if we go to style, and then on here, we're going to say colour. And the colour of that grey is actually AAAAAA. And I'll just copy this and paste it below. So if we just preview that in the design. So you can now see that's all changed. Now there's certain words um, have to be the blue colour. Also as well, we just quickly check the font that this is actually using. So it's Vedana. So we come back over here and go to the style. And we're going to say font family. And we'll just go for Vedana, that one there. And then I'm just going to copy that and paste it below. Go back to the index. And that's looking nice, but the text is a bit too big. So we're just going to bring that down. So we'll say font size is 12 pixels. And again, I'm just going to copy this and paste it below like that. And as you can see, that is looking quite nice now. So we just need to change a couple of the words. So which words are they? So your website and XHTML and CSS are in blue. So if we just go into the code, so we need a way of being able to hook into this your website uh, text here. So we're going to put the cursor just before the your, and we're going to type in span. Now we're going to, like I said, add an inline style to change the way this looks. So style, we're going to say the color is going to be the following color. So I've got the color over here. I'm just going to paste that in there. So the color is 0295DA. Now I got that color by just coming over to uh, Photoshop by grabbing the eyedropper tool and clicking on it and then that gave me the color. So if we just go back over here so we've started the span tag, and in the span tag we've added a style, which equals, and then we're saying the colour is at this colour, then we close it off here, and then we close the span tag just after your website. Save that, go back to the design, come down the page, and as you can see now the your website has changed colour, so we just need to do that to the XHTML and the CSS. So again, there's no point rewriting code when you can just copy and paste it. So I'm going to drop that in there next to the XHTML and close it just after. And then we're going to do the same for the CSS here. And then close that off and save that. And if we just preview this in a web browser now. So if I just refresh that and then come down the page, you can now see that is looking quite nice. So the next thing we're going to add in is the line just above. So if we minimize this. Uh, so we want to be adding that line um, on the top of the footer. So we come over here. So on the footer ID, we're going to say border top. It's going to be a one pixel border. It's going to be a solid line. And the color is actually going to be, which I've got over here, 323232. Save that. If we just come back over to the web browser and hit refresh, you can see it's added it in but the text is far too close to it. So if we come back over to Dreamweaver, we just want to say here, padding top is going to be about 15 pixels. And if we preview that one more time, hit refresh, you can now see that it's got equal distance between each portion of the footer. One thing I've noticed here, we've got a slight little problem here with the spacing. So if we come to the index page, and if we add in a space just after that, and save that, come back to the web browser, hit refresh, that's now got equal spacing. 
So we've now actually added in quite a lot. Actually, we've got the main content all in position. We've got the footer all in. Now we just need to start adding in the main content. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here for now. So please leave any comments below. Um, please go over to my website as well because I've got loads of tutorials over there. Uh, which is www.mattsandersmcp.co.uk I'll leave a link in the description below so as usual folks thanks for watching please leave any comments below feel free to subscribe please share any of my videos on Facebook or Twitter and I'll catch you in the next video